yeah, so something with more dynamic drive. Uh, this is Burris Blank, it's called Electrified. dynamic drive there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to switch over from the stand mount speakers to the flagship model. Oh, by the way, uh, the retail price on the 705 is £1,800 a pack. Okay. Represents very good value for money for the performance we have left. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Are these just Red Bull CD you play? Oh yes, by the way, the, the music itself is from CD. Uh, it's been imported into, I'm just using iTunes, so we are playing back a uh, level ground, everybody has access to this kind of performance. We're not showing off with 24-bit files that perhaps we found from Abbey Road's sort of cellar or anything <laughs> like that. So these have been just chosen off CD, imported as AIFF files rather than MP3 or Apple loss list. And it's just being played back into the USB input of the, uh, the preamp file. Right. So now we have the flagship model, 702. Suggested retail price, £3,300 a pair. We've now moved from a two-way loudspeaker to a three-way loudspeaker. Base units, dedicated mid-range and tweeter. The mid-range, again, technology has trickled down from our 800 series. For those of you here last year, once again, just show you what we did to the chassis. The original chassis of the mid-range drive units were using a basket like this but of course it rings like a bell <clears throat> and we thought actually that's going to affect the performance in the mid-range territory where the drive unit is working. So our engineers worked on a way to try and remove that ringing so we applied tuned mass dampers to the entire assembly itself. We also looked at the number of legs that the chassis the basket used and in doing so, adding all these tuned mass dampers allowed us to completely damp down on the bell resonance that you heard there. So it completely takes it away from the performance. Therefore, it's not adding to nor taking away from the mid-range drive unit performance. All in all, the finished result is a completely dead, inert chassis once it's fully assembled. All of this means that we get a much truer representation of the mid-range performance. In addition, the original CM10 was the only model where the mid-range drive unit was decoupled from the main cabinet. This time we've applied the decoupling to all the models in floor standards. So the 702, the 703s we have behind us, and the Rosenup 704 that you see in the corner over there. All of them have now been decoupled by this assembly, which has a spring loading on it, and all the fixes within the cabinet, making it isolated from the cabinet itself. Measurement wise, what we've actually achieved is reducing cabinet resonance and extra noise by over 15 decibels. If you're familiar with your decibel, you'll know that 15 dB is a huge amount of taking down the noise from the cabinet. So the result is a much cleaner mid-range performance. The base units, they've also borrowed technologies from 800 series. Last year, we showed you that we were using an aerofoil cone. We stiffened up the cone in the areas that it required the extra bracing. Where it didn't require it, we could thin out the cone. The whole point was we're trying to make a very lightweight cone that responds to the incoming signal. I'll pass these around to give you an idea of the kind of weight the drive unit is. Now, 800 series uses a slightly different material. Uh, we're using a synthetic foam in the 800 series, which has carbon fibre skins either side of the cone itself. In the 700 series, we needed to look at a lower cost alternative. So we're actually using EPS, which is expanded polystyrene, and it's coated by two skins of paper, thick paper, almost card. But the result is the same as what we have in the 800 series, a pure piston 
very light, that responds and moves very, very quickly. Well, and there we've got. So the resultant effect is that the base is far more accurate, it's more precise, it's tighter, it's cleaner, and it's not giving us any base boom or giving us any uh, extra uh, unwanted resonance. The whole point is it's tidying up the base. So those three are running in power? Okay. Absolutely, yes. Power handling of this speaker is 300 watts. So now you can understand. Sensitivity, I believe it's 90. I will just double check in the. Uh, so the 50 watts of try and roll. You're going to get some serious power out of this. Okay, so we're going to use the same track where we use the same Boris Blank electrified. I think I ought to turn it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> we'll give it a little bit more. Give it a little bit more. Okay, so here we go. So to show off what having this added base section dedicated mid-range, and of course the marriage between the power amplifier and the speaker is a better balance. Here we go. But it just goes to show you the realism that these speakers, this new range, the 700 series, is able to uh, portray. Uh, is using a lot of the trickle down technologies from 800 series in a much more affordable product. Even from the small 707 all the way up to the 702, I think you'll understand and you'll agree with us that they represent some fantastic value for money, brilliant performance. It's near enough 800 series performance in a much more affordable. We have around us all the other models from the range uh, that you can take a look at. We've got some component parts down there as well. Uh, we've also got our range of headphones at the back. Uh, we've just introduced the new PX and our top of the range P9. If there are any further questions, we're here uh, all day, uh, but also the next showing is until 11 o'clock, so we've got plenty of time to talk to you and answer any further questions you have. So thank you very much for your time this morning. I hope you enjoyed it. So uh, you it's it's what did you guys think of the Bowser Milkins demo just there? Well, very informative. Um, the technology is quite phenomenal, really, um, considering what they've done. Yeah, very informative, extremely nice bit of music. Enjoyed it. Thoroughly totally enjoyed it. There was a really big difference, wasn't there, between the kind of the smaller speakers when they stepped up? Yeah. Quite phenomenal difference, really. Um, we didn't have the best seat. Okay. Would have been, yeah, but it was a really lovely sound. Thoroughly totally, totally enjoyed it. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.